Hi guys, um, my name is Audrey Casanova. I'm 20 years old and I live in San Antonio, Texas. Um, this is my third video to my sequel that I told you that I was going to be making in my previous videos. If you don't know, um, I am making videos on everything I can describe to you, explain to you, everything like that. I am a transsexual and I'm going to keep it at that. Um, I specifically look like a boy today because I want to prove a point. The scariness is for a reason. I don't show anybody my face out of makeup, but I realize today that I really just don't care about what people have to say about me. So, moving on. My actual point. Um, my point today is loving yourself. And I'm not trying to get all cheesy with you and lovey-dovey and, oh my gosh, I'm sorry for yourself. Because you shouldn't. You shouldn't feel one bit sorry for yourself, actually. Um... People who feel sorry for themselves are looking for a pity party, are looking for a shoulder to cry on. Um, I do not specifically go look for that certain times when I am venting to people, um, but I love myself and the fact that I'm secure enough with myself to be able to wake up every day and embrace the world with who I am. Um, my parents have recently um, and my grandparents also have recently, you know, explained to me that there's a difference between being transsexual and shoving it down people's throat. I'm obviously not going to go into a Walmart with a, a hoochie mama skirt and a half drip shirt and my nipple hanging out on the other side and my hair all crazy and wearing blue eyes and my lipstick. It's not cute. Um, I don't approve of it. Um, this is an official message. Audrey Casanova does not approve of that. Um, so yeah, I try to help myself as decent as I can, or I would like to be. Um, so I live my life every day as a calm woman. I wear very contemporary clothing. I don't make my makeup too exotic during the day. I like to do it at night because of the fact that I can be avant-garde with it. Um, so I just live my life as a basic normal woman to try to blend in with the crowd. Um... <clears throat> when you go and tell people, you know, I believe that transsexuals are not only, um, you know, weird people, but they're people that are messed up in the head, that can, you know, cause a lot of conflict, but in my opinion, it just doesn't matter to me. I'm okay enough with myself to realize that, you know, stupidity on your end is, you know, humor on mine. Um... <clears throat> By taking the steps every day, by trying to be normal in the society that we live in and conform, which means, you know, not wearing crazy stuff like that, I'm actually respecting a lot of people. Um, that's where I got the actual um, point that they were trying to make to me. Um, earlier in my transition, I was very, um, insecure about a lot of things, very exotic. I thought if I was going to be a woman, I was going to do it loud, and I was going to do it proud, and here I am, and you accept it or you don't. Well, that is a reality that's hit me hard. Um, not everybody thinks like me. If I wish I could, I would. I would wake up every day and be very good, just as crazy as I could be, but I can't. Um, because I can't shove it down people's throat. There's people that have to live every day. Um, and breathe every day in a society that, you know, just isn't like that. And I cannot force myself on anybody, but I can sure as hell not, you know, antagonize the situation. People who do antagonize the situation usually are people who bring a lot of attention to themselves because they want attention. I like attention, but not wrong attention. Um, so that's where a lot of people who associate with transgenders get things wrong. Um, if you don't know a personally a person who is, then you pretty much think of a drag queen. Um, which I vent about that already, I'm not going to talk about it again. I'm not a drag queen. So, when you see someone like me, if you do notice that I am transsexual, which is very rare, um, you know, know a little about me before you decide to talk about, talk about me. Um... I'm not going and making a move on you. I'm not going and throwing my face and myself in your face. You know, I'm not trying to be loud and proud. I'm just trying to, you know, go and get my groceries over at Walmart. <laughs> um, there's a difference between if I were to see someone else and transsexual and had these huge hair and these big earrings and 
you know, was wearing a pink tutu and, you know, being all crazy. Um, I could see where you would have, you know, judgment to laugh and point. You know, because I probably would be in the back of my mind also. Um, but yeah, if you are transsexual, this is a note to you saying, you know, I hope there is a point that you come to realize that you have to respect everybody else, not just yourself. Um, if you already do, thank you, kudos to everybody who's making a good name for us. Um, and then to the people who don't understand us, I'm sorry you don't. Um, but for those of us that are just trying to conform to society, it's not nice. So don't do it, please. Because it's very hard to live every day as I do. And also to the people who, um, you know, question your sexuality or thought, thoughts or physical feelings or feel I'm in, in danger of any way to you or yourself or your children or your spouse or anybody else. I am not a person that is evil or trying to hurt anybody. I am just a normal person. Um... So, yeah, I'm not trying to attack you, so don't take it as that, because I'm not. I'm a very good person, and if you come up to me and see me somewhere, then say hi, because I'll say hi back. All right, guys, that's all I have to say. Bye.